Dear friends, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Neeraj Agarwal from University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Punjab University, Chandigarh. I am taking a module on equipments and fuel used in kitchen under the paper titled Food Production Operations and Management. After reading this module, the students will be able to understand the uses of large equipments used in the kitchen, mechanical equipments used in the kitchen, utensils and small equipments used in the kitchen. Now, firstly, I am starting with introduction. The well-equipped kitchen is the chef's best friend. When he has the right equipment and know how to use it, he can pay attention to food. Kitchen equipment can be placed into many categories. A. Power appliances or old fashion. B. Tools used to chop and slice food, measure and blend or cook and bake. Or C. Mechanical powered and non-mechanical equipments. The range of equipment in a kitchen is huge. To make things a little easier, we can think of equipments as belonging to one of two categories. Small equipments, things that are easy to carry and move around the kitchen and large equipments, these items are usually immobile and often fixed to the floor or a bench. The difference between hand tools and utensils is that hand tools can literally be held and operated by hand. Utensils include implements or vessels, pots, pans and mixing bowls that are used in kitchen. Many of these requires more than one hand to operate. Now, we discuss about cooking equipments for food service. The cooking equipments for food service establishment is different from that used at home. Due to the greater volume of food cooked and handling required, it is made for greater quantities, durability, speed and efficiency. It should allow ease in cooking, cleanliness, attractiveness and work efficiency. There are a wide range of equipments available today due to advancement in science and technology. Equipments such as pasta machines, beverage machines, crepe machines, burger formers, bread machines, cooking droppers, donut glazers, conveyor fryers, etc. are so specific that they cannot all be explained. Every year, new tools are being introduced to simplify the various kitchen tasks. Kitchen equipments must be used carefully and safely. Manufacturer's instructions or those of a person familiar with the equipment must be carefully followed. Through and regular cleaning of equipment is very essential. It should be used when essential. For smaller quantities than capacity, it may prove to be energy and labor intensive. Equipments must not only be kept hygienic, but also well maintained. It is a responsibility of both the operator or the equipment and the engineering department that they are regularly serviced according to the schedule prescribed by the manufacturer. It must be Remember that kitchen equipments are quite expensive and should brought only when needed. An unused or sparingly used machines is a waste of money and space in the kitchen. Now we are going to discuss about the selection of equipments. Selection of equipments for a catering operation depends upon many factors. The first one is cost of capital. If 
expensive machines are being used, the gross profit will have to be higher. Further, equipment must be within the range of the budget. Second, life of equipment is available in various strengths and durability using differing materials of construction. Third, menu. A fast food restaurant might use a microwave oven which can cook in limited ways only, whereas a restaurant would require much more from their oven. A small kitchen would buy equipments that can perform several functions, whereas equipments specific to the task are found in the specialized kitchens. Fourth, cost of maintenance. Preventive maintenance can lengthen the life of equipment and reduces the chances of breakdown. Cost of maintenance and ease in cleaning and operating, however, must be considered while buying equipment. Fifth, cost of energy. Careful analysis must be done as to which form of energy is more suitable, whether electric, steam, coal, wood or LPG. The cost of these varies from place to place. Sixth, number of staff and their skill level. The choice of equipment must match the number, type and level of staff available. Use of automatic or sophisticated equipments will reduce the labor cost, require unskilled workers but increase maintenance and depreciation cost. Skilled shifts would be required if ordinary equipment is used. 7. Size of the equipment We must buy equipment of correct capacity to match the needs of the operations. Quality of food suffers when size of the equipment is not correct. Besides, cooking in many small containers not only requires more manpower but also more space and energy. Eighth, line balancing. When a mixing machine is used to make dough for pastries, the capacity of this machine should be related to the capacity of the oven in which the pastries are to be baked. Ninth, space available. A kitchen is designed around the equipment. However, when equipment has to be brought in an already existing kitchen, very considerable through must be given to the space available. Where space is less, compact and highly efficient equipment may be required. Vertical space can be used acquiring stacked equipments such as tall multi-deck ovens. Multi-purpose equipment can be used in order to reduce the number of appliances, for example, brad pans. Tenth, ergonomics. Study of the relationship between people and their environment is important equipment dimensions height of working, attractiveness and safety. 11th, standards and specifications. Specifications are the basis of purchase of equipment. Cooking output may be specified as number of hamburgers per hour for a griller, number of dinner plates per hour for the dishwasher. Custom equipment is specified by width of the steel plate used, volume of the pan, etc. Twelfth, position of the equipment. There are many ways to group equipment in a kitchen. Freestanding equipment is designed to be located with space all around it, whereas the other are designed to fit side by side. Some equipment is used on top of counters. Modular split units are available in a range of top units such as griddles, boiling tables, defat fryers and worktop. 
and bases like ovens, refrigerated, heated, plain storage units. Other appliances like ovens are available as units which can be stacked to save floor space. 13th, mobile equipments with wheels or casters are becoming more popular, although it is not possible for all equipments. Mobile equipments gives both flexibility of use and ease of cleaning. Now, we are going to discuss about the description of some kitchen equipments. First, cooking equipments. Cooking range is the most important cooking equipment in the kitchen. They are usually gas or electricity operated. Today, many of its function have been taken over by steamers, steam kettles, tilting skillets and ovens. They have many burners either open or covered with a steel plate. Flat tops are referred for. They allow a much larger number of pots and pans to be placed on them for cooking. An advanced cooking range uses induction heating to directly heat the cooking vessel with the help of copper coil placed under it. Ovens are airtight compartments in which food is heated by hot air. Air roasting and baking is done in them. Oven can do many jobs normally done on the cooking range. Food can be simmered, stewed, braised or posed in the oven. There are many kinds of ovens such as conveyor ovens which carry foods through the oven on a conveyor belt holding ovens or warmers which are designed to keep many types of food at serving temperatures for long periods. Revolving ovens in which foods keep revolving for even cooking and high volume roll in ovens with large doors into which trolleys loaded with trays of food can be wheeled in for cooking. Convection ovens contain a fan that circulates the air and distributes the heat rapidly in them. Large amounts of foods cook quicker at lower temperatures. Combination steamers oven can be operated in three different modes as a convection oven, as a convection steamer or with both functions, as a high humidity oven which help reduces shrinkage and drying or roasting meats. Salamander or overhead broiler generate heat from food items are placed on a grill beneath the heat source. They are generally wall mounted above the range. Rotisserie broilers cook meats and other food by turning them slowly in form of electric or gas powered heating elements. Grills and griddles are heated from below. Foods to be grilled are based with fat and placed on hot grill bars for cooking. When browned sufficiently, they are turned over and cooked on the other side. Modern kitchens are not allowed to have open fires and so grilling is done on top of grooved thick metal plates which impart same dark brown parallel lines upon cooking that the grill does. Grills are flat, smooth, heated surfaces on which pancakes, hamburgers and other meats, many potato dishes etc. are cooked. Griddles and grills are available as separate or combined units or as part of cooking range. They should be cleaned after every use with a brick or iron brush. To create a non-stick surface and to prevent rusting, a thin film of oil should be spread over the surface, heated and wiped clean. Barbecues are American nomenclature for grillers. They are of three types, traditional, coal-fired, gas and electric. Placed in the guest area, live cooking enables 
smell and sizzle that develops a unique atmosphere. The guests can cook their meat themselves to a degree that suits their palate and fancy. Tilting skillets, tilting braziers, tilting fry pan or brad pan can be used as a griddle, fry pan for braising, stew pots, stock pots, steamers and ban merry. It is a large, shallow, flat bottom pot with the cover fixed to the ground. It can be tilted to an angle more than 45 degree so that food may, be, may easily be emptied onto pots and trays. The brad pan should be cleaned immediately after each use by adding water, heating it and scrubbing thoroughly. Water taps are provided right on top of the pans. Steam jacket kettles or steam kettles or boilers are large double walled U-shaped pots fixed to the ground. Steam between its two walls boils the food in them. They have more uniform and controllable heat than pots on the range. The biggest advantage in using steam cattle is that the food seldom overcooks and never burns in them. Deep fryers are used to cook foods in hot fat. They have a thermostat which maintain fat at the required temperatures. Automatic fryers remove food from that fat automatically after a particular time. Pressure fryers are covered fry kettles that fry foods under pressure. Foods cook faster even at a lower temperature. Used fats can be strained easily through the top provided under the frying tubs. Now we are going to discuss about preparation equipments. Mixers are used for many kids kinds of food mixing and processing jobs. A huge variety of paddlers or blades can be used for various functions such as making doughs, beating eggs, beating cream, making mayonnaise, etc. Food choppers or buffalo chopper is used for general chopping of foods. It has a large basin in which foods to be chopped are placed. This basin goes round and round and several parallel blades perpendicular to the basin rotated in it at high speed, rapidly chopping up meats, poultry and vegetables. It slices food evenly and uniformly. It is invaluable for portion control and for reducing cutting loss. A large wheel shaped blade revolves and the food to be spliced is passed through at adjustable thickness. Food processor or vertical cutter mixer is a large, powerful, high-speed blender. It is used to chop, grate, chop, grind, puree or mix large quantities of foods rapidly. Sinks or wash basin is a rectangular or bowl-shaped fixture that is used for washing. They may be made of heavy galvanized iron for heavy pot wash and stainless steel steel for washing hands or foods. Hand wash sinks are always different from those used for washing foods for hygienic regions. In manual dish washing, three sinks are used in combinations. Tables are most mostly made of stainless steels in the bakery or pastry section. However, marble tops are preferred as they are very level and cold. Table tops must be protected from heat, hot, sharp or abrasive utensils. Now we are going to discuss about storage equipments. Holding equipment are used to keep food hot or cold for a short duration during service. The various types are steam tables have pots with lids used as inserts to hold the foods. The tables are frequently used in restaurants. They are heated with the help of steam. Banmeri is a hot water bath quite similar to steam table. 
tall cylindrical covered food containers are set in hot water in the slots on the surface of the ban mary cold ban marys are filled with ice and water warming drawers are like low temperature ovens placed near the restaurant breads are placed in them for the servers to serve hot breads to the guest overhead infrared lamps are used in the food pickup areas to keep plated food warm before it is picked up by the servers they are also used for keeping hollandaise sauce warm or for slow cooking grilled tomatoes used as plate garnish cold food is blast chilled or blast frozen and held in refrigerators or freezers they are of many types walk in chest cabinet wall mounted reach in tech they should not be overcrowded with food and temperature should be routinely monitored the stored foods should be covered and the refrigerator door kept closed pots pans bowls and trays stainless steel is the most used metal for pots pans bowls and trays in the modern kitchen thicker the bottom more uniform will be the cooking and lesser will be the chances of food scorching in this stock pots a large deep straight sided pot for simmering large quantities of liquids stock pots with a tap allow liquid to be drained off without lifting them saucepans a deep pot with a long handle and straight sides used for making sauces etc sauce pot round or medium depth with two ears for holding on opposite sides used for making soups sauces gravies etc brazier round broad shallow thick bottom pot with straight sides and a tight fitting lid used for browning braising and stewing foods fry pan or cast iron skillet shallow sloped sides used for frying and sauteing saute pan straight sided like a shallow sauce pan but heavier used for browning sauteing and frying baking molds different sized and shaped pans for baking cakes puddings for baking foods meats vegetables and pastas like lasagne stainless steel bowl and basins they are flat bottom and round used for mixing whipping making hollandaise mayonnaise whipping cream beating eggs and storing foods bowls have high sides and basins are shallower with broad tops baking or roasting trays rectangular pan of various sizes about 2 inches deep using for baking and roasting baking sheets do not have high sides as they do not require collecting of roast gravy or juices released by meats while being roasted now we are going to discuss about measuring equipments weighing scales are indispensable for the modern kitchen they are used for weighing food portions and recipe ingredients so that standard recipe may be followed volume measures used for liquids and dry foods are available in various sizes each size is marked off into fourth by ridges on the sides different types of cups measuring spoons ladles and scoops are used in the kitchen to measure volumes temperature of food is very important to determine its doneness it is measured with the help of thermometers a meat thermometer is a probe attached to a dial indicating internal temperature of meats from 0 to 
1000 degree centigrade. Sugar thermometers test temperatures of frying fats and sugar syrups. Now we are going to discuss about small equipments or handheld equipments. In this we have knives. A variety of sizes and shapes of knives are available for use in the kitchen. Kitch knife blade should be made of stainless steel and handle of molded polypropylene for a comfortable grip. Iron and wood knives are not allowed in the kitchen. Zirconium oxide is now used to make knife blades that are extremely sharp, very easy to clean, rust proof and non-reactive. Some of the commonly used knives are French knife which is 10 inches blade wide at the heel and tapering to a point at its tip. Utility knife, narrow pointed 6 to 8 inches blade used for cutting fruits and vegetables, carving, roast and other small jobs. Boning knife, thin pointed 6 inch blade used for deboning meat joints and poultry. Paring knife, small pointed 2 to 4 inches blade used for paring, trimming vegetables and fruits. Chopper or cleaver, heavy knife with a 10 into 3 inches rectangular blade. Oyster knife, rigid, broad, bladed knife used for opening oysters. Palette knife with 24 long, 24 inches long flexible blade used in the bakery and pastry section for mixing, creaming on the table and spreading. Channel knife, special small knife to carve ridges in fruits and vegetables used for making them decoratives. Now potato pillar, used for peeling vegetables and fruits uniformly. Serrated edges allows creating ridges in vegetables for increasing attractiveness. Chopping board, hard rubber or plastic boards are used to place foods while they are being cut with a knife. They may be color coded according to the type of food being cut on them to avoid cross contamination. Parison knife or scooper with a cup shaped half sphere on its tip used for cutting balls from fruits and vegetables. Spatula Rubber spatula has flexible rubber tip attached to a handle. It is used to scrap foods from pots and bowls. Steel spatula shaped like the pallet knife but much smaller is used for spreading. Cooking spatula has a long handle and a broad square tip used for turning foods on the grills, griddles or baking trays. Kitchen fork, a two pronged heavy duty fork with a long handle for lifting and turning cooking meals. Scrapper or dough knife, a stiff piece of rectangular metal with a wooden handle on one edge used to cut pieces of dough and to scrap dough from mixers and tables. Tongs U-shaped with broad tips used to pick up food. Whisk loops of wire attached to a 6 inches steel handle used for beating eggs, cream or for preventing lump formation in soups and sauces. Spoons solid and perforated. Large stainless steel spoons used for stirring, mixing or serving. Perforated spoons are used when liquids are to be drained. Skimmer a long handle ending in a slightly cupped perforated disc used for skimming froth from cooking liquids. Grater a stainless steel sheet with sharp raised perforations of different 
sizes so that when foods are rubbed against them, they get cut into long thin pieces, for example, grated cheese, grated carrots, etc. Chinois or conical strainer. A large conical steel mash attached to a long steel handle used to strain liquids and to puree cooked foods. Strainers. Round strainer made of thin wire mesh attached to a handle used for straining and puring liquid foods. Seam. Screen type mesh supported in a round metal frame used for sifting breadcrumbs, flour and other dry ingredients. Jester. Small special knife used for cutting the colored part of citrus peels in a thin strips by scrapping it over them. Piping bag and nozzles. Conical plastic bag fitted with metal nozzles or tips of various shapes and sizes used for decorative purposes like piping, icing, whipped cream, puree, the meats and vegetables, etc. Motar and pestle is used to crush, pound and grind foods. This pestle is a heavy ram whose end is used for hitting foods in the bowl called motar. Potato masher is used to crush soft food like mashed potatoes, apples, boiled beans, etc. Even though many types of meshes are available, they all have a flat, heavy bottom which is pressed on hot foods for meshing them. Meat hammers are used to flatten meat by pounding them with it. It may be made of wood, plastic or metal. They have a 3 inches cube attached to a long handle. The four sides of the cube are with different types of prostuzens. Pastry brush, a broad, soft paint brush used to glaze foods or brush with butter, egg wash, etc. Trussing needles form poultry trussing, larding, needles for larding cuts of meat, poultry, etc. Larding pin for larding joints, etc. Butcher's hook for hanging joints, etc. Squivers for squivering meats, etc. Bringing syringe for pumping brine solution into joints. Brinometer for measuring density of brine solution. Now we are going to discuss about safety equipments. Fire extinguisher is very useful to extinguish small fires. It is handheld cylindrical vessel containing an agent which can be sprayed on a fire to extinguish it. Fire extinguishers are of two types, water and foam extinguishers, in which contents are stored under pressure or cartridge operated. Care should be taken that they are easily reachable, fully charged and appropriately used according to the type of fire. Extractor hoods are installed hanging over cooking equipments to ventilate the kitchen by removing a doors, fumes, vapors, heat and smoke by sucking the air out of the kitchen and filtering it. They may also be combined with a fresh air fan that draws in outside air circulated with the cooking fumes which are then drawn out by the hood, also called exhaust hood. They may have an inbuilt lighting system to illuminate the cooking surface. First aid kit is a collection of supplies and equipment used for helping a victim until proper medical care can be made available. It should be conveniently located, stored in a clearly marked box. They should have a first aid manual, bandages, gauze dressings, adhesive tape, antiseptic, scissor, cold packs, torch, lighter, gloves, medication such as painkillers, 
rehydration salts, anti-diarrhea, etc. The kit should be replenished regularly and emergency telephone numbers should be provided in it. We are going to discuss about the various fuels. Now the question comes, what is fuel? Fuel is any material that stores energy that can later be extracted to perform mechanical work in a controlled manner. A fuel contains energy, mostly heat, that can be released and then manipulated. Most fuels used by humans undergo combustion, a redox reaction in which a combustible substance releases energy after it ignites and reacts with the oxygen in the air. Hydrocarbons are by far the most common source of fuel used by humans. Any source of heat energy is called fuel. Now we are going to classify a different types of fuel. Solid fuel, it refers to various types of solid material that are used as fuel to produce energy and provide heating, usually released through combustion. Solid fuels include wood, charcoal, peat, coal, hexamine fuel, tablets and pellet made from wood, corn, wheat, rye and other grain solids. Fuels have been used by humanity for many years to create fire. Coal was the fuel source which enabled the industrial revolution from firing fun furnaces to running steam engines. Wood was also extensively used to run steam locomotives. <coughs> Both peat and coal are still used in electricity generation today. The use of some solid fuels, for example coal, is restricted or prohibited in some urban areas due to unsafe levels of toxic emissions. The use of other solid fuels such as wood is increasing as heating technology and the availability of good quality fuels improves. In some areas, smokeless coal is often the only solid fuel used. In Ireland, pet briquettes are used as smokeless fuel. They are also used to start a coal fire. Firewood, it should be well seasoned, left to dry at least two summers. Hardwood contains more energy than softwood and burns longer and more steadily. But it also harder to light. Coal, it is hard black mineral used as fuel. It has higher energy content than wood. It can be burned in slow combustion, mostly used in barbecue for grilling food above open fire. Now, we are going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of solid fuel. First, the advantages. It requires low maintenance cost, easily and readily available. No heavy cost is required for installation. Now disadvantages. You need space and manpower to store wood or coal. Difficult to maintain the temperature, leave ash after burning. Solid fuels are less energy efficient than electric and gas fuels. They produce higher amount of combustion gases that need chimney, which makes installation expensive. The smoke from wood and coal fires contributes air pollution. Now we discuss about liquid fuel. They are those combustible or energy generating molecules that can be harnessed to create mechanical energy, usually producing kinetic energy. They also must take the shape of their container. Most liquid fuels in widespread use are or derive from fossil fuels. However, there are several types such as hydrogen fuel, which are also 
categorized as liquid fuel. It is the fumes of liquid fuels that are flammable instead of the fuel. The examples are kerosene. Kerosene once used in kerosene lamps as an alternative to whale oil is today mainly used in fuel for jet engines. This fuel grade kerosene meet specifications for smoke point and freeze points. It is paraffin oil comes from petroleum which used as fuel. Now we are going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of liquid fuel. Advantages Flow can be regulated. Production of energy is instant. Readily available and cost effective. Not as dirty as solid fuel. More friendly. It does not leave any ash. Now the disadvantages. Requires more space. Lot of care needs to be taken. Releases pollutants. Sources are not reliable in terms of purity. It leaves bad odor on burning. Low energy efficient. Now we discuss about gaseous fuel. The natural gas. It is a mixture of hydrocarbons mainly methane that is extracted from underground reserves. Natural gas is either compressed natural gas that is CNG or liquefied natural gas LNG. Liquefied petroleum gas LPG or propane it contains at least 90% propane, 2.5% butane and higher hydrocarbons and a balance of ethane and propylene. Liquefied petroleum gas also called LPG, GPL, LP gas, auto gas or liquid propane gas is a flammable mixture of hydrocarbon gases used as a fuel in kitchen. It is increasingly used as an aerosol propellant and refrigerant replacing chlorofluorocarbons in an effort to reduce damage to the ozone layer. LPG will evaporate at normal temperatures and pressures and is supplied in pressurized steel cylinders. They are typically filled to between 80% and 85% of their capacity to allow for thermal expansion of the contained liquid. Now we are going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of gaseous fuel. Advantages It is easy to handle. It saves lot of labor. It is controllable through regulators. Less polluting. Instant fuel generally produces much less carbon dioxide. The heating capacity is not limited as compared to electricity. Generally, it is much cheaper than portable electric heaters. Now, disadvantages. Transportation cost is high because of it being highly volatile. Regular check or equipments and supply line is utmost important. Lot of care by expert is required. Not easily available everywhere. Accident prone. It comes under fossil fuel which is going to finish one day. Produces combustion gases. Refilling takes time need to store at safe place. Now we discuss about electric fuel. Source of electricity which cannot be heard, tested, seen, smell or felt. It is very safe source of energy. But misuse can cause serious injuries or can kill. It cannot be stored other than battery. 
एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फ्यूल फर्स्ट एडवांटेजेस इट इज इजी टू ऑपरेट फ्यूल इज क्लीन नो स्टोरेज इज इन्वॉल्व वेरी एफिशिएंट इको फ्रेंडली इट इज अवेलेबल ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवेयर समटाइम्स इट कैन बी जनरेटेड from renewable sources such as solar hydro wind or biomass now disadvantages expert required to handle the equipments chances of short circuit it is costly there is risk of shock cost of maintenance is high power plants that generate electricity by burning fossil fuels produce considerable amount of air pollutants if there is any power cut off we cannot do anything heavy installation cost is involved now essentials solar energy the heat from the sun is used as a fuel This is not a very commonly used fuel in the kitchen but many eco-friendly hotels have solar cookers that are used in cooking. Now I am going to summarize this module. In this module we have read about the various equipments that are required in a kitchen that is working commercially. We also learn about the various points that we should keep in mind while selecting the equipment for an establishment and also various type of fuels can be used in kitchen with their respective advantages and disadvantages thanking you and have a nice day